Today on the show, Microsoft is going to double their number of stores, how some nerds are learning to steal BMWs, and why clowns are so friggin' creepy. I'm James Papadopoulos, and TechSpank starts now. Hey, guess what? Microsoft, yes, Microsoft, is getting set to double their number of retail stores. By next June, Microsoft plans to have 40 stores open across the country. So you can buy all those cool things that Microsoft makes besides Xbox consoles, which you can get any damn place. I have to admit, I've never been to a Microsoft store, but I also admit I would never want to. But it's really sad to see photos of them. Check this out. It looks just like an Apple store. And look at this employee. Come on. They've even got the weird things around their necks with little squares on them. What the f Microsoft? It's just sad. You're like that Kardashian mom who's always trying to pretend she's just as young and cool as her daughters and thinks that if she just believes it enough, everyone will go along with it. Well, you're not. They know. So stop. I know, right? <laughs> Four sisters. Anyway, think it's any coincidence that they're going to be rolling out their tablets just in time to be sold at these new stores? Yeah, me neither. But it will give people a familiar place to check out their new stuff as soon as they can copy it from Apple. Ooh! I kid, I kid. Up next, I usually like to pop something useful in here in the middle of the show. Something that you can go do, like a good deal for a computer, or a computer tip, or something. Today I figure I'll post something that makes me feel better. See, I can't afford to buy a $44,000 BMW 1M Coupe. In fact, I live in New York City, so I don't even really need a car. But anyway, that's not the point. The people who have these cars have cash to spend, and I do not. And these really fancy cars have awesome keyless entry and ignition systems. And some little hacker geniuses have figured out a way to steal the car in three minutes flat. Someone who had his car stolen posted the security footage of the whole thing going down. These little nerds wearing blue smurf jumpsuits start off by breaking a window, which won't cause the alarm to go off, go figure. Then they jack into the vehicle's onboard diagnostic port, and then they get control of the car and off they go. Now the port should require a password, but for some reason BMW didn't use one. For their part, they acknowledge that there's a problem, but they don't seem to be doing anything about it. Now, remember, I'm not talking about this because I have any tips to give you to keep your car from getting stolen. I mean, you could put it in the garage or something, who cares? I'm just saying, I can't afford one, and now people who can are having theirs stolen by little nerdy smurfs. And that makes me smile. Finally, before I go, let me drop a little science. What do zombies, android robots, and clowns all have in common? They all freak people out. And why? Because according to researchers at the University of California, they're almost human, but not quite. And that causes all sorts of problems in our brains that make us uneasy. They found that as something goes from completely non-human to more human-like, there's a valley in the chart that shows how comfortable we are with it. For instance, this robot doesn't make us uneasy, and this person is normal, so everything's cool, not creepy. But then you see this thing, and your brain is like, whoa, whoa, f no, not interested. The idea was first published way back in 1970 by a Japanese robotics expert, Masahiro Morty. But now scientists are trying to get to the cause with experimentation and test subjects that are shown different photographs while their brains are being studied using MRIs. Eventually, they hope to be able to help animators and robot creators come up with stuff that leans towards cool and away from creepy until they go crazy and start to kill everyone. Good idea. You know what else is a good idea? You know what I'm going to say. Tell your friends to watch my f***ing show. Seriously. Copy and paste the web address. Make sure you subscribe to the show on YouTube. Get to the latest updates. And if you want more of my stupidity, check out TextBank on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching. I didn't fuck that up at all. Did it sound like it made sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, get to the